Council has reportedly laid a criminal complaint against artists who have staged a sit-in at its offices in Johannesburg. The apparent failure of the Council to help artists hard hit by the lockdowns have left the cultural world outraged, but the new Council says it's doing its best to deal with administrative bungles by members of the previous Council. The Sports, Arts and Culture Minister Nati Mtetwa earlier admitted that there had been maladministration in relation to the Presidential Employment Stimulus Programme of 300 million rand. To discuss, uh, we're joined firstly by the spokesperson for the National Arts Council, uh, that's Tsepo Mashiane. Uh, Mr Mashiane, is it, is it true that you've laid a, a criminal complaint against these demonstrators? Good evening, Francis, and good evening to all the viewers of the SAPC. Uh, Francis, let me just indicate that we have not, in fact, done so. What we have done is that two weeks ago, we had a, 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 a notice served to the uh, sitting group, primarily because we were looking at the fact that the NAC is starting a new financial year, and as a result, we need our offices back so that we can do our work. So on the 24th of March, we had went to the court after numerous engagement with the sitting group to assist us to find relief on how we could be able to occupy the offices so that we can take the work of the NAC forward. So today, the, the matter was at court, it's set, and we know that the, the uh, sitting group had indicated that they did not receive this notice. And the matter is now uh, set up for tomorrow again to sit and finalize the matter. Okay, so, so you're saying that the court will decide whether they are allowed to continue with the sit-in or not tomorrow? Absolutely, absolutely, because by four o'clock today they were supposed to submit the opposing affidavit to the court. So, uh, according to reports, there are about 20 to 40 people. Um, uh, so, so you're saying they're actually sitting in, off, sitting in offices that, that would be used by you and other members if, if possible? No, absolutely. Uh, what has happened is that the, a group of uh, practitioners who were concerned about the PSP uh, process had then submitted questions to us and they said that they won't be leaving the NAC offices up until such questions are responded to. Uh, this was already on the 1st of March, which then culminated to the 3rd, where they were, the sit-in started. And they have been, yes, sleeping in, in the offices and in the boardrooms of the NAC. They say they have valid concerns and it's a public uh, space. Well, Francis, look, we have never had an issue about, you know, uh, citizen staging protests because we know that it is a right that is guaranteed by the Constitution. The issue that we have now raised is the fact that the NAC needs to proceed with the work that it is established to do. And having engaged with the sitting group for, for uh, weeks now, we thought that maybe we needed to get another uh, solution to deal with the matter of how do we again get hold of take over the offices of the NAC so that we can do our work. So the, the obvious question is, why haven't you just answered their, their questions to their satisfaction? Well, we have done so, Francis, and that is why we are now, you know, considering other options on how we can get our offices back, because so far as we are concerned, all the questions that have been posed or addressed to the council have been responded to, and in fact, any citizen can go to the website of the NAC to verify this fact. And all the issues that have been, uh, the questions that have been posed and asked of us, we have responded to. Yeah. So, so the question is here, I mean, you must admit there is a valid concern. Artists, for one, some of them are starving. People haven't received the payouts. Uh, you've admitted that the National Arts Council did make a, a huge mistake. Uh, I think the, the mistake that's been admitted to is that they... Um, dished out too much money, basically. They, they approved applications and then realized there wasn't enough money in the kitty. Uh, you came in as the new council and, and reduced those, um, uh, those payouts that everybody would get. But, but certainly there's been maladministration in the past um, and, and even the minister has admitted to that. Are, are you sympathetic to these artists and their concerns? Let me start by saying all the questions that have been posed to the council by the sitting group, in fact, were questions ourselves. As a new council, when we took office, we wanted uh, answers to. 
And we had, in fact, uh, corroborated with the sitting group that, in fact, these are the questions that ourselves had asked to a point where, as a council, we had to even institute and start a process of investigation. And indeed, uh, Francis, we, we, we really sympathize. That is why uh, when we saw the news uh, making rounds that we are now intending to forcibly move the sitting group, it really came as a shock to us because we sympathize and we, we consistently indicated that we understand the questions that are asked and they are genuine. And these questions, certainly they are informed by the fact that there was mismanagement in the process, which we have subjected to an investigation, yeah. Francis. Well, well, when will that investigation be complete? And, and people here want to know where the money has gone. I think you did uh, say that the, the new council will be transparent and, and release a full list of beneficiaries. Has that been done? So we have released a full list of beneficiaries and how much they were allocated, Francis. And as we proceed, we will, in fact, in our last briefing of the industry, we indicated that we will be releasing as well the names of all the applicants that have since been paid so that we are able to be transparent. And of course, Francis, I can indicate to you that insofar as we are concerned, this matter in itself had been in a very difficult position to, you know, for us to be able to manage. But now relying on the investigation to give us the results of what is it that we needed to do for consequence management, should there be such. So, so you say you came in um, and this maladministration was in the past. There are reports that the CEO and the CFO have been uh, suspended. Are, th are those not current officials or, or previous officials? Well, remember the CEO and the CFO are, um, you know, uh, employed uh, for a particular period in the, in the NEC. So the, the current CEO and CFO were suspended based on the issues that emerged out of the, manage, the mismanagement of the process. And they have since been on suspension, uh, friends. All right, so, so that's undergoing. I guess my final question to you, we, we were trying to get a response from someone uh, in the cultural, one of the cultural industries. Um, but uh, what is the, the Arts Council doing right now? Uh, firstly, you say you've uh, sort of uh, fixed that administrative bungle of the past, but there's still not enough money uh, to go around. Many of the artists have been left out. Are, are you at least lobbying for more cash for artists this time, uh, hopefully, uh, to be given out in a, in a fair manner? Francis, we were the first ones to indicate that the monies that are allocated to the uh, creative and cultural industries were never enough. And this is a matter that is, in fact, you know, uh, decades been talked about. And we continue to say, as a National Arts Council, we want to go, to, to go out there and raise as much money as we can to actually supplement the money that is given to us by government. And as a result, we are in fact, ready to be able to say to industry, we, have come, we are going to come up with mechanisms to increase these monies. We sympathize. We ourselves as members of council are from the industry and we understand these issues. And indeed, our test will be to the extent to which we are able to really tilt the scale to the benefit of the industry moving forward. And the NAC is looking into uh, mobilizing more resources than it would normally uh, uh, be able to be allocated in uh, France. All right, and, and I guess we need to speak to government as well and try to get a response uh, from those artists, but we'll certainly follow what happens in the courts tomorrow. The National Arts Council saying they need the offices uh, that are currently being occupied by sit-in demonstrators. That was Sepo Mashiane, the spokesperson for the National Arts Council.